What's up guys, it's Michael here with another Curl Painter Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing how to remove acne from your face using this wonderful software, Curl Painter Pro. Um, this is actually a recreation of a Photoshop tutorial that I saw online. And I said, you know, this would be a good to create, it would be good to create a tutorial for Curl Painter Pro users using very similar techniques so let's get straight into it so we start off by duplicating um, the image so this is the end result we start off by duplicating the image um, and then what we're going to do we're going to change the red blemishes into a shade that matches his complexion because this is what what acne in most persons look like it, they appear as red blemishes so we're going to to do this with the top layer selected we're going to go up to adjust hue and saturation hue and saturation lightness then i'm going to reset this to my default settings so remember we're editing the red shades so we hit edit reds then we're going to spike up the hue just to see what we're working with so it's green but this is just green temporarily just so that we can see just so that we can target the red blemishes or the red regions on his face so we bring this to the right little a little so as you can see it's defining its selection more so we play with this until we get a good selection of the blemishes so the blemishes appear to be green so what's happening here it's basically <coughs> turning sorry about that it's basically turning the red section here um replacing this red co the colors that are red here red pixels on his on it on the face replacing it with the color on the inside circle here so the reds to the greens here all right increase the hue a little and the selection is pretty good so this is just so that we can see now we're going to play with the hue so that we get a, comp a, a matching our pretty color that is pretty close to his natural complexion so I bring this to the left and maybe back to the right a little increase the lightness and we're getting something pretty good this is pretty good maybe increase the saturation a little that's good once that is done we hit ok alright so as you can see his lips were also um desaturated or the redness of his lips were also removed so we're going to grab our um, eraser tool here and basically erase the top layer here to reveal the natural red lips underneath which is here so erase here to reveal the lip underneath which is pretty easy and there we have it now we're going to grab the makeover tool so go to the left panel grab the makeover tool right here and size the, bl the brush right here to a size that matches the blemishes that you're working on so right now it's good at 56 so you just basically want to hit increase the strengthness to maybe about 90 and as you can see it's basically stamping out the colors so what's happening it's using the outer circle to sample create a sample and bringing using that sample to replace replace the pixels on the inner circle thus removing the blemishes so as you can see it's going pretty good here 
zoom in if you have to and get rid of some of these um, blemishes and it's going pretty good for some section we can reduce this strength just to leave back some of the natural blemishes on his face so it's basically lightening the blemishes control Z to undo reduce this a little the strength that is maybe bring it down to 29 and zoom back out and this looks pretty good so what we're going to do now as you can see in the original image there were some redness on his cheeks some natural reds which is natural in skin and complexion skin complexion is not always um evenly toned as it would appear here after we edited it so what we're going to do is add a new raster layer hit ok and then grab our paintbrush sample the colors of his lip of his lip which is a red and then we just paint on his cheeks his cheeks right here we also notice some redness on his chin so once that is done we want to change the the blend mode of this layer to overlay and then reduce the the opacity just so that it's subtle on his face and there we have it and that's pretty much it you can see the before and after let me group these layers so this is the before and this is the after pretty good results so thank you for watching guys remember to subscribe more tutorials will be coming soon so please subscribe so that you can be among the first to see these new tutorials for Corel Paint Shop Pro thanks for watching take care